If you remember, in the 1970 session of the legislature, we did, in fact, hold a hearing with the Attorney General, with the Commissioner of the Department of Labor and Industry, the Associated Industries of Vermont, and the Vermont Labor Council concerning the number of hours that a woman was able to work. It was apparent in reviewing our laws that they were indeed in conflict with Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. And so a bill, House 362, was introduced into this 1970 legislature to repeal certain sections of the statutes pertaining to the maximum number of hours that a woman could work. The amendment passed, and at least the removal of that discrimination was accomplished. Now we have another session coming up, and um, I'm happy um, to be able to say that uh, the wheels are already working uh, to bring about further change in the Vermont statutes annotated. Chapter 5, Employment Practices, and Subchapter 6, Section 495, which deals with what it is unlawful to do in terms of employment practices in Vermont. Now, we feel very good that uh, it's at least unlawful at the present time for um, employers to discriminate against women because of their sex in the amount of wages, but we still have work to be done. Four other uh, paragraphs in that section need revision, and we hope very much uh, to bring that about at this next session. We feel strongly that we have got to somehow reach young women in kindergarten and the first six grades to give them better and earlier vocational guidance and orientation, which will encourage them to consider realistically the probabilities of working after marriage and to raise their educational and training goals beyond secretary, nurse, and teacher. Each time uh, we gain a new level of humanity for women, a new level is also achieved by man, and so I think we feel we're, you know, we're working not only on behalf of women, but in behalf of all human beings.